Hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Leitman. Hello, hello. As always, spiritual states, and today our topic is a broken heart. And our first question for today in the Kabbalistic sources, it says that a hero is he who has a broken heart. Why? Why is he considered to be a hero? Yeah, really, it sounds very strange. It even says that there is nothing better than a broken heart. Right. Well, this is because when a person feels that all of his desires, intentions, aspirations, yearnings, that it's all broken, and he has nothing precise, like an anchor that he can grab hold of, like something that he can hold on to in order not to drown in life, then this is a very good state. Good how? Good because he has nothing else to hold on to, nothing else to pin his hopes on besides the Creator. And that's why it's good. Exactly. That's why it's good. So if we could grab hold of the Creator with all, all the drama, that is impossible. Impossible. A person wouldn't hold on. It's precisely when he's really hanged by the thread of a hair, that he has nothing to hope for, hope in his hopes on, that in a second everything's going to tear, rip. It's a, you know, there are terrible states where sometimes it's better to die than live this way. In such a state, a person can come to the Creator. Of course, I don't recommend anyone to reach this kind of state that you know, it's better to know in advance. And the Wisdom of Kabbalah know, tells us that we need to know this, acknowledge this, be familiar with it, and come to the Creator in advance, knowing that there's none else besides Him and that He governs everything and all of our future states are in Him. But actually, actually, even though that there's none else besides him, still we need to try and choose by ourselves states that are as close as possible to the Creator. It says, do not be despaired of mercy. What, the Creator waits for our prayers, for a person to cry out, for the broken heart, meaning he, he likes broken hearts, the Creator. Dr. Leighton, yeah? Host. So it's, um, so it's clear why so few people study the wisdom of Kabbalah. Who wants these states, Dr. Leitman? A merciful creator that only loves, that only wants good, wishes good to everyone. Why does he bring a person to such states where a person simply out of that he feels that he is at a dead end, that he has no way out, and only from there can he turn to the Creator and come to him. Why Why to bring a person to such a situation? It's because we, our qualities, are the opposite of the Creator. We are the quality of reception, the ego, and the Creator, he's the quality of bestowal. And therefore, we're the exact opposite of the Creator. And so you can come closer to the Creator only if we change, or at least try to change our desires, egoistic ones, our desires to receive into altruistic desires like that of the Creator, which is to give. Host. So actually, it turns out that we turn to the Creator not because we get some blows to the ego or we suffer, that's clear. But actually, it's that a person really wants to have the quality of stolen love. He wants to love everyone and he can't. And so this is why his card's broken, that he wants to love everyone and he can't. He wants to be like the Creator. Dr. Leitman, yeah, a person comes to that too along the way and tries to reach these kinds of states but he can't. 
Host. So we need to define this as being the broken heart, that a person can't come to love his fellow man and through that to love the Creator. And it's not just that a person gets different blows because, you know, billions of people suffer for thou for millions of years. Dr. Leitman, well, they're suffering because they're not getting what they want. They have egoistic sufferings like a little kid that's crying because no one's buying him his favorite toy or something. And this is what this is what everything ends with. And in the meantime, a person starts awakening and understanding that the way to come closer to the quality of the Creator is only to the measure to which you reach a covalence of form with him, host. So the suffering that a person gets as a result of not getting what he wants doesn't help him come to a plea to the Creator, at least not, or at least not the one that a creator, the Creator answers. Right. But he automatically turns to the upper force one way or another. Who breaks a man's heart? Does a person break his own heart, or does the Creator break it? Dr. Leitman, the Creator, of course. There's none else besides him. He does it all to a person, but gradually. For a person to acknowledge what's going on with him, why is it happening, how is it all done, and further, he has some kind of ability, possibility to govern his states or to at least determine them. Host, once I read you wrote that a broken heart is, it means to achieve that point in which we once comprised one single soul and to feel ourselves disconnected from everyone else is considered a broken heart. True? Dr. Leitman. Yeah, only there are two things that are connected here that, that, that don't sound exactly right. We all come from one state, from one heart, from one desire. And afterwards, this desire broke into many parts and pieces. This action is called, this precisely is called the shattering, the breaking. And afterwards, each of us exists in his separate egoistic desire host, and that's called a broken heart, where each feels only himself and not the general system in which the Creator is, Dr. Leitman. Exactly. Host. It says that the Creator is the doctor for the broken hearted, meaning what? Dr. Leighton, because he heals them, he unites them into one big common heart host. So man breaks the heart, cures the heart. Dr. Leighton, no, 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 man is only present in all of it, so to speak. He's like a witness of what the Creator does. That's why all the work that we do, the spiritual work that we do, is called the work of the Creator, of Adat Hashem. Post. But still, something depends on man, Dr. Leitman. What depends on man is to be more attentive to what happens with him and with the help of the wisdom of Kabbalah to try and understand how the Creator works on him, what does he do with him, and how should man react, respond to what the Creator does with him. Host, so to like be a censor, Dr. Leitman, yeah? Well, in your blog, you write that the path to the Creator goes through a broken heart where we discover how opposite to Him we really are, and precisely from that depth, we call out to the Creator and discover that we have a point of contact with Him. The Creator is the quality of stolen love. So how, from that point, low point, do we find a connection with the Creator, Dr. Leitman? Because man starts understanding that he can't do anything else in his current situation. But to 
Well, how to put this? But to bring himself to a state of complete subjugation to the Creator, to be completely subordinated to the Creator because he has no other way to act. He has no other option. And here, he... prays to the Creator. He he bursts out in prayer to the Creator for the Creator to draw him near. Host, but if I look at the Creator as some upper force that helps me, then yes. But if I look at Him as the quality of bestowal that's revealed in me, then how? Dr. Leitman, it's one of the qualities of the Creator that is partially revealed in a person. Host, it's interesting that these two states happen at the same time, both the joy and the despair. Dr. Leighton, yeah, it could be both the, the joy and the despair, to be despaired of your own forces, but at the same time to be joyous about the fact that by that you near the Creator. Menachem Mendel from Kotsk wrote that there's nothing more whole and complete than a broken heart. How should we understand this? Exactly that way, you need to understand that the heart is man's desire. So man's desire, where he sees that he can't do anything correctly with his desires, anything that's directed toward the goal, that is the best possible state, because then man in that state, he is in despair he's in despair of turning he, he, he in despair he turns to the creator because he sees that no one else can help him host and that's the best possible most whole and perfect state okay and the result of what is the state of a broken heart the result of what actions meaning I can't just feel that my heart's broken right it's a result of something Dr. Leitman well first of all you start with wishing You want to be fulfilled in your heart with every good thing that you see in the world and in general everything that you could wish for in this world. After you see that that's impossible, then you come to the conclusion that, okay, what's possible then? And here in you appear many... states that gradually lead you to the fact that, okay, it's better not to wish this, but it's better to wish something else. Meaning through much despair, disappointments, the Creator leads a person to a state where man already... Where man already understands what to really wish for, what to really want, which is to near the Creator, to become like Him. So how do you do it? And then he gradually also, through many different... Through many different actions where he tries and he understands that through trial and error, he understands that he needs to do it through connection with other people. And the more he wants to do it to become like them, the closer he comes to the Creator. It's called from love of the created beings to love of the Creator, or from love of man to love the Creator. And that is, I think... what a person needs to go through. So the attempt to connect with other people in order to discover the quality of love and bestowal in him to be like the Creator leads to despair that a person can't do it and he turns to the Creator to for him to connect his heart with the hearts of others. Dr. Lee, yeah, host. And to just sit and justify the different states that one goes through, it doesn't give anything. Dr. Lee, it's not enough. Host, because many people that go through different states, Dr. Lee, many people suffer and are in terrible states, but they don't see from these states any kind of correct way out that would bring them to the goal. 
So actually, it's not simply to just egoistically somehow to justify the Creator for what He is doing to me, but a broken heart is that I try to acquire the quality of the Creator and I'm despaired of my forces and this is what I ask for. Dr. Leitman, yes, that is the correct state. Ну да, вроде бы, в принципе, резюме такое понятно, что только когда человек разочаровывается в своих силах. Host, yeah, so that's clear. Only when a person is despaired of his own forces and he tries to reveal him, he turns for help. Dr. Leitman, that's why it says that there is nothing more whole and complete than a broken heart. Host. Well, until a person turns to the Creator, it takes many years, Dr. Lightman, many years. Host, he tries to do everything by himself, Dr. Lightman. That's what Bala Sulam writes, that it can take a person 20 and 30 years even. Host, if I could push a button around the heart someplace and turn to the Creator, great, but it's impossible, Dr. Lightman. Right, host. So it's an accumulative process, Dr. Lightman. Yes. But don't calm yourself down that it's accumulative. You need to go forward and try to achieve it every day. Host. Okay, that's clear. Good. Spiritual states, broken heart. Thank you very much. To you, too.